Hi everyone and welcome back to my place. Continuing with the theme, the Great Botanical Adventure, this time the journey is to continue on with the beautiful hellebore, which I absolutely love, gorgeous early spring flower. And this time I want to put it with a little bit of Paris. I absolutely loved it when we were down at Mangrove Creek Farm looking at all of the rows and rows and rows of beautiful spring flowers and I have always loved the lily of the valley or it's not actually lily of the valley it's actually called Paris and I'm not quite sure how it got the name lily of the nickname Hel um, lily of the valley tree because but then when I look at it I suppose I do uh, I can see there is a similar a similarity but this grows on a shrub and the lily of the valley actually grows from a bulb and I'll share some details about those in due course. Now this was the first design I did when we started off and just the, getting the hellebores, simple beautiful way of displaying them on their own so that they just get to just be visually enjoyed for what they are. The next arrangement I want to share is something that I also love to do at this time of the year and it's an arrangement that looked like you just went outside and picked this and picked that and just put them all together into a jug and I think that with spring designing one of the best ways to absolutely have the flowers sing and cheer us on is to just have them loosely and informally placed together. Now I've got this gorgeous gorgeous jug here and I love the colour and I think that what I love about spring flowers is just about every spring flower goes with each other and it's that beautiful colorway and when you look into this beautiful little bloom here look at the, that colorway into there they're clean and they're crisp colors and then when you look at the paris it's got the same colors with it so they all sort of like lend and blend together the only flower that i don't use apart from on its own is daffodils. I don't put them in with other spring flowers because I've got a set that comes out of them and they actually just kill everything else. So I think that daffodils should just live by themselves if they're gonna be treating the other friends of the spring like that. So anyway, now as we were told, and which I want to keep talking about this is into the water put in a little bit of bleach now the reason we do that is because that just keeps the bacteria at bay be very careful when you're doing this that you don't splash any of this bleach onto you your surf or your surfaces because it will just destroy the garment because you can't, once the bleach hits, hits it you know what happens but anyway here's a quick and easy design get all of your stems now I've had to hot water these because they were just a little bit droopy but what I do is I just gather them all into my hand as if you were doing a little you know a little tussy mussy or a gorgeous little posy of flowers and then just crystal cross all their stems over like this oh there's one that I didn't use so let's get that out and you'll see that they are all nodding their little heads down but that's okay because very soon that will stop now cut everything on the slant cut because that just makes it easier for that when the flowers go into the base of the container they're not sitting flat which means that they can't suck the moisture out now I've got a couple of bits of Paris. I'm just going to just gently put that into there. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, it's beautiful. And then with this one here, I'm just going to take that up and into there like so. And with the pink, I'm just going to bring a bit of that into there like so, so that that's sitting up. And then this can go over to here. Now all that excess foliage there, get rid of that because that foliage can I just tell you, is going to hit the water and that will cause the bacteria. Now cut everything to about the same length and then I just like to drop them into their container like so and just leave them. And those little bits that are, oh, look at that, simple, informal and it's just the two forms together creating an hello here I am spring 
beautiful, beautiful flowers. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I think that that is a lovely way when you see both of those together. Look at that. There's one way of doing it. And there's another way. And I think that with putting the Paris into here, what happens is that once those flowers sort of like lift themselves up, they've got the two textures which make it a beautiful visual picture. I also want to thank New Zealand Bloom because New Zealand Bloom are the ones that manage to get these flowers to a market near you, anywhere in the world. I think that's great that you get to play with what I play with. See you again another day. <laughs>